Is it just me or does that wheel look like it's floating? The Inokim Ox O is the most unique electric scooter we've ever reviewed with its single-sided swing arm design that turns heads and helps to set this scooter apart from a sea of scooter clones. But is this design all looks and no substance? In this video, we're going to share with you why we love this scooter as well as a few nuances we ran into that you should know about if you're thinking about buying it. What's up guys, I'm Jimmy Chang, and today I'm with Andrew, the scooter guru. We've got a new scooter here to share with you. It's called the Enokim, am I saying that right? Enokim? Enokim, the Enokim Ox O. We feel very fortunate to be able to test ride this and share with you some of the features that we love and some of the features that we think can be improved upon. So Andrew, tell us about this scooter, the Enokim Ox O. Yeah, it was invented by Enokim, it's a brand invented by Nimrod Sapir out of Israel. It's made in China, but it's got a lot of cool features on it that we've never seen on other scooters. It's got rubber suspension, which you'll see on Dualtron scooters, but it's a little bit different. It's a very strong folding mechanism. Looks like I can definitely depend on it. If for being a heavy scooter, over 70 pounds, you can actually lock, in, lock into itself when folded, so that's always nice for portability. Not the, not the most lightweight scooter, but at least you can pick it up and lift it up into a car pretty easily. Do you want to come closer and check it out? Sure, what's the yeah. weight of that unit? While out riding and filming, we had more people stop and comment about the Enokim Ox O than any other scooter we've reviewed. There's something about beautiful, powerful wheels that just draws attention, and you don't need to be a scooter expert to appreciate quality engineering and construction. Yeah, it's got a good look to it. I like, even, I like the color scheme, that orange and black. Yeah, and it feels like a pretty hard compound tire that would last. Yeah. But it, has, it looks like it's got enough grip to, to do what you need. Exactly. What's your background? How do you know so much about uh, scooters, bikes? Uh, I've been a mountain biker for many, many years and long, electric longboard and longboards. And it's second nature to me. I just love it. Awesome. And That's as a good. mountain biker, it's one of my primary passions. Steve stopped to ask some questions about this beautiful scooter, which we gladly answered. We love sharing our passion about PEVs and growing the community, so stay tuned till the end to learn more about the scooter community that we're working to build. Um, a really cool thing about the thumb throttle is it has a sensor on it that can tell when it gets dark outside, so it will automatically turn on the lights. You can always turn them on manually, but you can actually change what sensitivity you want for that to turn on or off. The really cool design is actually this, the the swing arms on it, it only has one swing arm on it, which is very similar to the mountain bikes, the Cannondale lefties that they used to make where they only had one fork down the side. Looks really awesome on the other side, almost looks like a tire's floating, where the other side looks like a regular scooter where it has two swing arms. And then um, the only thing that I could see this really big drawback is having an all plastic deck. All plastic deck could definitely get slippery when wet, but you could always just add grip tape to it. Ultimately, in dry situations, you should be fine. But if it is wet outside, I would definitely recommend not riding the scooter. The stem is gigantic too. It's really fat. So I don't really see that ever breaking on me or folding in on me. The latch is really um, powerful and the stem itself is really thick. But this is Enokim's really first high powerful scooter. Most of their scooters in the past have been pretty slow moving single motor um, commuter scooters where this is their first really dual motor thousand watt scooter that can go up to 40 miles per hour. You do actually have to unlock it on there to get the speed of 40 miles per hour but originally it kind of caps you out at going 15 miles per hour which of course I'm not going to want to go that slow. I'm the electric scooter guru guy. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so a couple things that I noticed just by, you know, we carried the scooter out. We, we took the scooter out here to this park. We put it on this rock. And just as people have been walking by, they've been making comments about how great it looks. And this scooter is definitely some eye candy. It definitely catches your eye. Just given the floating wheel on one side, the orange accents on the other side. Um, it's, it's a very good looking scooter. I'm excited to give it a try. And um, yeah, let, should we take it for a ride? Yeah, let's go rip it around. All right, let's go ride and we'll, we'll give you our report back here in just a sec. Okay, here we are. We're at a straightaway. You see that there. And we are going to do a speed test of the Enokim Ox O. 
So right off the bat, just looking at it, it's not a huge accelerator, just like you said. It's got a very gradual start. Thirty seven. Thirty-nine forty. Some great stopping power though. Yeah. How'd it feel? Yeah, I went from thirty-five miles to zero in about twenty feet I'd say. Felt great. It was pretty sweet. I got 43 miles per hour going downhill. It's a lot different of a scooter than most scooters that we're riding. Uh, most of the scooters are instant power, get to that speed, and then it just gets there. Where this one just is like a gradual tapering off. So it feels nice and smooth. Suspension is stiff. Um, there's quite a bit of bumps in this road and um, never felt unstable by any means at all. So I could see on some other scooters hitting those bumps, going fast, you'll kind of get a little bit of a wobble. That's why I always recommend steering dampers, but the way this suspension is, it doesn't even feel like this thing needs a steering damper by any means. Also, when I was doing a wheelie earlier, getting up in the air and coming down, normally you feel suspension compressed quite a bit and you'll get a little bit of overcorrecting going on. Didn't feel that one bit on the scooter. So it's, it's a pretty sweet scooter. There is a couple things about the throttle that's a little bit interesting. It'll, it doesn't really like to sit at like a lower speed. You either want to go full speed and get to your speed that you get to and lay off of it. So I think cruise control would be very beneficial on the scooter. You can actually turn it on or off. I have it off right now. So like the first gear goes to like 12 miles per hour. The second gear goes up to 20 miles per hour and the third gear goes to 40 miles per hour. It's really hard to get that feathering part. But one thing that I find a lot of people would love about this scooter is it's not that scooter that will just rip out of your arms as soon as you press the throttle. It has a slow a gradual takeoff and then just and goes up to the high speeds. This is nice for wheelies though. It feels really stable. Because some of them when you come down it like takes so much of the shock to where when you land this it, it really absorbs the shock of coming down. Cause like right there going that high and coming down on like um, something else like a mantis or this, you can kind of get the, the, the wiggles. All right guys, now it's my turn to give it a shot on the uh, Enikim Oxo. plate in the back is kind of my preferred stance on these scooters if I can. Uh, the problem with this kick plate is the angle just seems a little too much. It seems too angled. It's not, not as comfortable as, as uh, some of the other scooters that I've tried in their kick plates. The kick plate is angled such that it almost makes me want to like put my head over the handlebars when I'm when I'm resting my foot on it and trying to brace myself. Yeah. Which is a good stance if you're going fast. Exactly. In that suspension like no problem. It's good to test out the suspension on these bumps. It's tough to find kind of like a happy medium. Exactly. You know, it's either an all or nothing with this throttle. If yeah. you just try to feather it, it's gonna, it gets really jerky just trying to maintain a speed somewhere between uh, zero and full throttle. And then once you get it to full throttle, you're fine. So you lean forward, you rest on that, your rear foot on that kick plate just like so, and you full throttle it. See, once, once you figure it out and you get the muscle memory, you can kind of control your thumb such that you, you have more control over the speed. But yeah. it is, it's sensitive. So yeah, this scooter is a ton of fun, but there is definitely a few drawbacks to it. I love it, but the throttle does throw me off. It's kind of jerky, so you can't really maintain a certain speed. So definitely want to find the gear you like. The other thing is going to be the kick plate is at a very high angle. It's not very comfortable for long rides, but what is nice is the deck is pretty stable. It's not one of those things where you go to ride and stop where the tail end picks up or the front end picks up, very stable. The deck itself is very slick. Um, if you have any type of water on your shoes, I just stepped on some snow to clean off my shoes, got on the deck and could feel myself sliding around. The tire hugger is great for protecting you from water splashes, but it's pretty low on the back tire that if you just come off of a curb slowly, you're gonna 
brush it up against there. So if you're gonna walk it off a curb, you almost wanna pick up the tail end. If you have some speed and you go off the curb, you should be totally fine. And then last but not least is gonna be how fast this takes off. It's not gonna be the super fast thing where you run it off and take off and win a race. But um, besides that, everything else is great. Andrew has pointed out some of the cons to the scooter that we've discovered as we've been riding it. And some of the, I 100% I agree, except for that last part, I actually prefer the acceleration where it's more gradual and it's not that instant, instant torque that feels like it's gonna pull my arms off. Um, I, I like that more gradual acceleration. But we're gonna keep riding it and we'll share with you our final thoughts at our destination. Okay, we've been riding the scooter around for some time now and we it's it's a joy to ride uh, hopefully we've been able to answer all your questions in this video um, if not leave them down in the comments below and we'll make sure to check those but andrew who do you think this scooter is best for i think the scooter is perfect for someone who wants a high powered scooter but wants a controlled acceleration great for light off-roading great for solid wheelies just a great all-around scooter that has a few flaws but all of them have their flaws I really like that controlled acceleration. That really speaks to me. Uh, the other thing too, I love the aesthetics. It has a very distinctive look. And this, you know, I never felt unstable, um, even with the, the unique uh, fork system on the wheels. I think it looks great, rides really well. If you have any other questions, check out our full review at gotscooter.com. And we'll have an updated review as we continue to ride this and test this. I know, <laughs> that was the first time I'd been on that powerful of a scooter. And it was like, wow, I didn't realize the technology just because I've never been into scooters. Yeah. I was always more of a skater. Like, holy cow, they've really moved this forward. Yeah. And, and we love teaching folks like Steve about these amazing scooters, but as Steve told us, he doesn't use Facebook, so he can't join our Got Scooter Facebook group for deeper discussions. For those of you looking for a supportive and informative electric scooter discussion forum, check out electricscooterboard.com. It's brand new, and Andrew and I will be there to answer your questions. The e-scooter movement is stronger together, so go to electricscooterboard.com and let's grow this movement together. All right. Cabin out at 40. Someone said it. Oh, 41. There we go. Forty-one miles. Forty-two. Let's see 42 on here. 43. Feels nice on that suspension. If you're interested in buying the scooter, check out our coupon code in the description below. So yeah, I got up to 43 miles per hour. Pretty sweet. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. And remember, when you ride, wear your safety gear.